وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول إن شاء الله تعالى in this episode I want to speak about the definition of a tawbah what does tawbah actually mean the way I want to speak about tawbah إن شاء الله تعالى and define it is first of all what does tawbah mean in the Arabic language يعني في اللغة what does it mean and the second إن شاء الله تعالى is I want to speak about tawbah uh, in the Sharia and as I said in the introduction we can't really come with repentance we can't come with tawbah if we don't understand what it means at tawbah to fil lugha repentance in the arabic language uh, is a verbal noun the word at tawbah fil lugha masdarul fi'li tawbah the word tawbah is a verbal noun it's a masdar masdar means verbal noun of the which verb the verb tawbah and the word taba originally is rooted from the madatu tawaba. Madatu tawab. Ta wawba. That's what it was taken from. And this word tawaba, taduru hawla ma'ani ruju'i wal awdati wal inabati wal nadam. And the word tawaba revolves around the meaning al ruju' to turn back. Al-Auda uh, to come back. Al-Inaba um, to turn back as well. And also an nadam which is to regret. That's what it means in the Arabic language. That's what it means linguistically. That's what it means lexically. Now, what does it mean in the Sharia? In our religion, in the Sharia, what does the word Tawba mean? At Tawba to Fi Shari, the term Tawba in the Sharia is the following. It is tarq with them be, it is to leave off a sin. Ilman bi qubhihi, knowing that it's evil. I am leaving this sin because I know it's evil. Wa nadaman ala fi'lihi, and you regret doing it. Wa azman ala alla ya'uda ilayhi ida qadir. And you make the conviction and the decision never to go back to doing that act, even if the ability is. Is, is presented to you. Even if you gain the ability or you're able to do so, you make an unwavering conviction that you're never going to go back to this act. And if there's any sin that you are currently in, you grab yourself straight away and you leave it. And you bring back every single obligatory act that you have forsaken. How do you do it? You do it with sincerity. You do it with hope. Hope, hoping reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you do it fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. And all of this has to happen before your nafs reaches your collarbone. Before your nafs reaches your collarbone or قَبْلَ طُلُوعِ الشَّمْسِ مِنْ مَغْرِبِهَا or before the sun rises from the opposite direction. It has to be done before those two. Before the nafs reaches the collarbone and also قَبْلَ طُلُوعِ الشَّمْسِ مِنْ مَغْرِبِهَا before the sun uh, rises uh, before the sun rises, sorry, um, from the opposite direction. That's what Tawbah means in the Sharia. That is what the Quran and the Sunnah mean when they use the word Tawbah. So as you can see, the Arabic language, it just meant Ar-Ruju' Wal-Awda Wal-Inaba Wal-Nadam. Like in the Sharia, I gave it more meanings and it has stipulated more conditions to the word Tawbah. So now, Alhamdulillah, you have an understanding of what Tawbah means. You have an understanding of what repentance means in the Sharia. Ah. Anything I might have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashadu wa la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.
Assalamu alaikum. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running, make sure you head over to amau at home.com.